Welcome to the PE department at South Nottinghamshire Academy. This presentation is going to focus on the GCSE in physical education. The exam board we use for this qualification is AQA. If you choose to study the GCSE PE course, you may be taught by any of the PE staff you see on this slide. It could be one teacher or a combination of teachers. The structure of the course is that it has four different components. It is structured in such a way so that we can deliver paper one and paper two or component one and component two work alongside component three, which is the practical sport. It is worth mentioning that the GCSE course is a theory based course. Therefore, you will spend more time completing theory than participating in practical. For example, if you have four lessons a fortnight, three will be theory, one will be practical. However, if part of the theory work can be taught using a practical lesson, then we will do that. The final component, component four, the analysis and evaluation of performance, is also known as a key process C. This is a small piece of coursework that is completed during year 11. Component one and component two, or paper one and paper, uh, paper two, will allow you to study topics such as anatomy and physiology, movement analysis, uh, physical training, use of data, health, fitness and wellbeing, sports psychology, socio-cultural influences. So what does that mean? It means that you're going to study the body. You will study the muscular and skeletal system. You will study the heart and the cardiovascular system. You will study how gender and society can impact on people's ability to participate in sport. You will look at components of fitness. You will look at training methods. You will look at how data can be analysed to improve somebody's performance. OK, so you will cover a variety of topics during your theory based work. The course also develops transferable skills, such as uh, practical performance skills. So those sports that you will finally be um, assessed in, you will develop performance skills for those. Evaluation, analysis, teamwork, independence, time management, organisational confidence and presentation skills are just some of the variety of transferable skills that GCFCP will help you to develop over the course of the three years. The course is assessed in a variety of different ways. 60% of the course is externally assessed by two end of course final exams. These exams are split into two areas, the human body and movement in sport and socio-cultural influences. Exams include multiple choice, short and extended answer questions. 30% of your grade is based on your practical ability in three different sports. This has to be a combination of individual and team sports. So it could be one individual and two team sports, or it could be two individual and one team sport. For you to achieve a high grade in GCSE PE, it is useful if you're playing a sport for a club or a team outside of school. The final 10% of your grade is awarded based on a piece of coursework uh, known as the key processing. This is based on your ability to accurately analyse and evaluate your performance in a sport. You must be able to identify your skill and fitness strengths and weaknesses and provide appropriate training methods to improve your weaknesses. Okay. The course is suitable for highly motivated pupils who want to learn more about the theory side of sport and physical activities. Pupils who play sport at a high level, it is massively helpful if you are already playing sport. 30% of your grade is based on a practical ability. OK, so if you're already playing sport outside of school, that is really helpful. It is also suitable for learners that are able to work independently and as part of a team to succeed. The GCSE PE can lead on to a variety of different things. If you wanted to go on to A-level PE, fantastic. Other A-level qualifications it will allow you to go on to. Vocational qualifications, BTEC level threes, for example. And it will, if available to you, allow you to go on to apprenticeships as well. What do our current students say? So, one student said that I can use the sport that I play outside of school for my practical assessment. OK, that's true. If you play a sport outside of school that's on the specification, you can be assessed in that sport. OK. And other people feel that their PE teacher is very supportive and get lots of feedback on how to improve, how they're going to do in the exams, etc. And another people said that they like it when theory lessons are taught using practical activity. Where possible, we use practical to teach a theory based course. It's not always possible, but sometimes we do manage it. If you are thinking about choosing GCSE or BTEC PE, please speak to your PE teacher. They will be able to advise you on which course is best for you. 
OK, so which are you more suitable for the GCSE or the BTEC PE? Which one are you going to score most highly at at the end of your year 11? OK, hopefully this presentation uh, answers any questions you might have. Thank you for taking the time to listen. And for considering GCSE PE.